Hello, Chris Richter here back again. It's been quite a while since I've caught up with you. The reason is I've actually been overseas. I'm from Australia, as you can tell by my accent. I've been over in Europe, specifically a tour of Germany for over a month. And that was part of a music tour. So if you haven't seen my music, here's a few links. There's links down the bottom, actually, to some of my music. I do all sorts of music, piano stuff. Uh, One of my daughters sings professionally as well. So there's some music there from her. But anyway, check all of that out. But that's what I've been up to. So that's where I've disappeared to. But I'm back again. Well, I was away I received an email asking how do you configure Moodle to allow the admin to receive an email that a new student has signed up which seems like a logical question that you would ask and should be really really simple so let's have a look at how we do that to do it in Moodle 4 we go to a thing called event monitoring which is a much easier way of being able to do all of this sort of stuff so first of all I'm on Moodle 4.0 I'll just make that fit to the screen I'm just using one of my uh, Moodle 4 demo courses or demo platforms and we're going to go over to my profile now I'm an admin here so just remember that as we go through this but I'm going to go to preferences and you'll see there's an option called event monitoring if we go into event monitoring you can see I've already actually set one up there but I'm going to set a new one up that does the same thing so you can see what that looks like so the very first step from there though is we need to go into the event monitoring rules and what happens here is Moodle monitors all of the events and activities that happen in the background and allows you to trigger tasks or rules that happen when certain events happen we're going to go to event monitoring rules and in event monitoring rules we're going to add a new rule we're just going to call it student has enrolled and the area we're going to choose to monitor is core and in core you'll see all of these events and there is hundreds of events in there well not hundreds there's about 100 events in there we're going to get in and choose one called user enrolled in a course so if we get into you user enrolled in course there we go a user has enrolled in a course that's just the short description don't worry about the notification threshold yet uh, although you can read it it's the number of events within a specified time period required for a notification message to be sent notification message this is where you can put in the message and the message has a collection of rules or information that you can put inside that message so you know what that message is actually about let's just save changes because we just want to make this happen student has enrolled a user has enrolled in a course is our new event that we've created all we need to do next is then actually activate that for a user so what does that mean we have the rule but we don't know who the rule that actually applies to I'm going to go to event monitoring and event monitoring is specific to me so what I can do is I can go in and add so here's the list of rules that are available I can add this rule to me so all I did was click on the plus I am currently subscribed to this rule just like that other people can subscribe to those rules as well and that way they can get that sent to them so it's it's person specific meaning it's the user that gets to apply that rule and then that rule then obviously the emails get sent to that person when that particular event happens that's actually all I had to do I didn't have to do anything else I'm now enrolled or subscribed to that current rule so when a new student enrolls they'll get an email so let me show you that part of it I'm going to go in and enroll a student in a course and I'll just do the h5p demonstration course will be fine I'll go to participants enroll a new user and I'll just enroll a student student in that and I select enroll and that's all I had to do now if I go and check my emails let's go and see what email actually appears so you can see there the email has arrived it's arrived as student has enrolled it has a rule name a description and the event name now where did all that come from let's just double check back again if I go back to preferences go down to event monitoring and find the student has enrolled one now you see this is the rules I can subscribe to this is me subscribing so I actually want to go to the event monitoring rules go into there and edit and you can see here we have rule name which matches our rule name here in the email so this is the notification message the description is a user has enrolled in a course and that came from our description just here so you can put whatever description you need in there as part of the email and then the event name and that gives you an event name so that's how it sends it and that's all you have to do to make that happen nice and simple and that's all you need to know about event monitoring and sending event monitoring information one final thing I should mention is that event monitoring is available to admins but it's also available to teachers so teachers can add an event or add event monitoring to their courses 
so that they can then make use of that same information that's happening inside the courses and events. The events that they monitor will be restricted based on the permissions that they already have. I recommend go to Moodle Docs and have a look at event monitoring, which will give you some more information on who can actually participate in those reports and how that all works. So hopefully that's been a bit useful to you and is a simple solution to get those emails coming so that you know what's happening in your Moodle server when certain events happen. I'm Chris Richter. Thank you again and I'll catch you very soon.